Okay, so just in case anyone was confused on how to use mods with your copy of Skyrim, I decided to make a tutorial video. So the best way I found was to use a mod manager, preferably the Nexus mod manager. And I'll put the link in the de description, but... The page will look like this. Click download now and install. One thing I want to mention is I don't know how relevant this is going to be once the creation engine comes out. But, uh, yeah, I believe that comes out later this month, actually, but, yeah, for most people, they're probably going to want to start doing that, and I'm definitely going to get in on that, but, uh, yeah. So it's going to look like this, except, uh, you're not going to have anything except maybe the update right here under plugins, and you won't have anything under mods, but what this program does for you is it allows the modded files to be pulled in and out of the respective data folders easily so you don't have to do it manually one by one um, and the main reason I got into this was for improved graphics and to just make it a little bit more immersive so I'll show uh, some comparison videos right here A uh, few things to try to pay attention to in this video is notice the textures, uh, the resolution of them, look, notice how it looked pretty muddy and it was pretty pixelated at some points. Notice the pixelation on these barrels right here and how when you walk up close to them it starts to blur out a little bit. Um, yeah, these textures right here and also another thing that uh, the mods and the next part of the video will show is uh, it makes the grass a lot fuller, more ground cover, as well as uh, the water has a more realistic texture. So uh, I wish I could have made like a side by side video. I'm not that slick. So uh, yeah, just like maybe click back and forth between uh, the time frames and uh, try to compare them. But anyway, the textures of the leaves um, are all going to be updated through these mods. Most of the textures are... Uh, four to eight times higher resolution than when you go with just vanilla settings that come with the game. That grass effect right there, they, they didn't update. A lot of these are works in progress. Uh, something to notice right here is uh, notice how it's a pretty blocky around the nose area. You could see some pixelation. Um, If you look closely here, you can really see the difference that the mods make. Uh, you can see the individual strands of grass pretty well. If you stand still and look straight down, it just looks like a picture of a just a flat plane of grass. The wood texture on the barrels looks a lot better, more detail in the iron bindings. Uh, the grass covers more of the ground. Uh, more textures, the water looks a lot better, uh, more realistic flow and waves on the surface. Um, yeah, it just makes the whole game look a lot sharper.
Yeah, the grass is really lush over in this part. And another thing to look at is there's no more blocky pixelation around her nose. The eyes are a lot brighter, look a lot better. So yeah, now I'll show you how to actually download individual mods and use the mod manager with them. Okay, so now I'll show you how to actually download a mod. And one that I've had my eye on for a while is Killable Children. I know, you can judge me if you want, but sometimes those little kids are just really annoying. So what we're going to do is go to Skyrim Nexus. And we're going to look up Killable Children. So wrong right here and not every mod you'll be able to use with a manager like uh, more settings that are uh, configuring with any files and things like that uh, the NPC editor you won't be able to use with the manager but uh, this one you can so usually you could just read the description always um, and see exactly what the creator says about it but usually you just click download with manager let's see what individual files they have first um, okay well this protects requests and stuff like that but I'm never gonna kill a child and actually save it try to be as good as I can anyway yep click with download manager and after you do that you should see it begin to download right away and that was really fast so now that you have that on there uh, find it in here and here we go it's right here you could either click this up here or yeah activate the selected mod or just double click it and there you go mod was su su successfully activated Ugh. now let's find out if this works <laughs> yeah, it works. Righteous. Alright, now let's get into some of the tweaking and uh, how to deal with having a whole bunch of mods at once. So if you're anything like me, you're going to end up with a lot of mods. Um, sometimes there's compatibility issues and it's going to cause you to crash to the desktop or have frame rate issues and things like that. So here's a quick walkthrough on how to install things in the right order and account for patches for compatibility and all that. So I'll start off by installing the largest mod, which is the Skyrim HD 2K Textures basically replaces uh, all the textures with four to eight times the resolution that it originally had making everything look a lot better as you saw in that video earlier And that'll be the longest one. And next we'll do this 1.3 patch. Uh, always click no when it asks you for this. I've never encountered an issue where you were supposed to click yes in there, so always click no. And just so you know, uh, patches always take precedence over other things, so 
make sure that the patches always override other things. Some experimentation and trial and error is going to be needed to get all this. So yes, you're going to want to override. So yes, all for that. This 1.3 patch actually helps me get rid of this HD furniture and barrels and things like that. So next, I'm going to want to do this realistic water textures. Um, just for time's sake, I won't really go through the customization of that. Just quickly set it the way I like. And yes, too, all on this one as well. Uh, walk you through the lush trees. You want to do the lush trees and grass first and start off with the first compatibility patch. And do not override the first compatibility patch. And do the lush grass as well. That one should be easy. Alright, and I could go into, yes, actually I will real quick, um, better female faces, this one says that you need to put it on before the no blocky faces, so let's run through that real quick. Okay, yeah, and once you are satisfied with the amount of mods you have installed and you, you think the combination is right and everything be sure to click plugins first and make sure everything is checked including your update usually unless you have a strange mod that changes the game that doesn't work with the update then that's the only reason you wouldn't want to click that now launch Skyrim uh, under data files make sure everything is checked and click load loose files and you should be ready to go